Shish Kebab. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, a lot of folks associate food with our fine show, and that's fine with me. But every once in a while, you run into a restaurant that has more to the story than just superb steaks. That was exactly the case in Albany, when we found ourselves in the Beehive. Albany, Texas is well known for its annual summer tradition of the Fort Griffin Fandangle and the fort itself. But if you're looking for a place to get a bite to eat in town, just buzz on over to the Beehive for some of the best steaks in the state. Housed in the old Beehive Saloon and the Fort Griffin General Merchandise Store, the restaurant has that old school Lone Star State feel with an owner who was raised on the other side of the world. I did have a swing door right there. Okay. All right, well, I have to take it off because people keep breaking it. And I said, hell with it, I just take it off. Take it down. Yeah. Ali Esfandari grew up in Iran, and he doesn't mess around when it comes to cooking a good meal. I promise you, you go check out the restaurant for shish kebab. You never find one I serve you tonight. You're going to go, whoa. Ali and his brother Nariman started this steakhouse with a serious reputation way back in 1982. I told my brother, my wife run the bar, you run the dining room, and run the kitchen with my two kids. That's all we were. We started it, wow. which was very difficult. Life is good, brother. While Ali has grown older, his affection for life lights up a room. Another day above the ground is a blessing. Always. I always say people ask me, how are you? I say, I don't got a tags on my toes. I'm good. <laughs> and kick the bucket yet. There you are. Kick the bucket yet. You're right about that. Being from a faraway country, folks were a little unsure of this fast talker and his family at first. Well, when you showed up to town and opened at a restaurant in Albany, Texas, I'm sure the locals were looking at you like, who is this guy? He was very hard, yes. Together with his daughter Jessica, Ali brings his best when it comes to beef. Cooking succulent sirloins, fine filet mignons, and ribeyes cooked just right over a bed of mesquite charcoal. We get it. Our steaks are phenomenal, we know. <laughs> Not that we're cocky or anything, but we're very proud of our pride, and we should be. We pride ourselves on that. It make my night when I go to the table, they said, Oh my God, Ali, what did you do to this? It's awesome. And when I pick up the plate, they're grabbing the bread, <laughs> cleaning at the bottom of the sauce to taste. And I'm going, I did good. You gotta sop it up. I know. You got to. <laughs> Some of those plates, I don't have to wash it. I just put the food on the server again. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. While growing up in Iran, life was a lot different. Ali's father was adamant about passing on the American way of life to his children. He came to America a lot of time. That's why he wants us to come to America. He saw the country, land of opportunity, said, you guys got to move to America. In 1968, Ali made the move, but his relocation was more of an escape plan. When my father kicked me out of the country, not house, the country, when I graduated from high school. Straight out of the country? Yeah. Why did he want you out of the country? My father was very close to the Shah. Shaw told my father, get your family out. When I left my country in the airport, I was saying goodbye to my mom and my father, God bless their soul. I said, Dad, you're a Muslim. Mama is a Catholic. What am I? He said, son, don't cheat, don't lie, don't steal. If you can help, help as much as you can and believe one God. All this religion, if you put it together, there is one God. And that's all you have to do. So stuck with that today? I stuck with it since then. It took 10 years for his whole family to immigrate to the U.S. And Ali embraced his new country. He even served in the U.S. Air Force. I love this country. How could you not love this country? Land of opportunity. Look at me. Didn't have a dime in my pocket. Now look what I got. His dedication to the American dream is passed along in the passion for his food and the hospitality you receive when you walk in the door. We want you to feel happy. We want you to feel euphoric. We want you to feel all these things. We want you to feel welcome. They make you money. They come see you. So you better appreciate their business 10 times than how much money you make. You should welcome them 10 times more. Welcome, hey, Tom and Joan, hi guys. Robert Duvall is a regular, so is George Strait. And it's not the million dollar wall in the saloon that brings them into the beehive. It's the food. 
and the way Ali treats his guests, his constant care and attention to detail, proof that hard work really does pay off. I hate it when she does that. God bless America. I'm telling you, man, you won't believe it in my heart how much I love this country. That's why I did my four years service. I did my duty. I raised four kids for this country on my cost. I don't know what else to do. If they let me know, I will do it. I have no problem. That's all it is. It's the greatest, greatest land of opportunity in the whole world, my friend. Glad to see you be successful. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank God. He is he good. Is. I love it, man. I love it. I am tired, but I love it. <laughs>